Hi everyone, this is Chris from abarbove.com. Uh, I was just about ready to make a Singapore sling and I realized that um, it's a great opportunity to show you how to uh, juice a fresh pineapple a couple different ways uh, just in case you don't have the right equipment. So we're getting ready to juice and I, uh, I realized that um, in, a, in the past I've always had to use a blender to make juices. I would have to separate the solids out and uh, then have my juices after that. It was kind of a laborious process but I didn't mind because I didn't know any better. My wife saw uh, the process and all the hard work I had to put in just to make some simple syrups and juices. So for Christmas she got me a juice extractor and uh, man it has made a world of difference already. Um, so I'm going to break this pineapple down. We're going to do um, we're going to juice it in a blender and then we're also going to juice it in a, um, the juice extractor and we're going to show you which one, uh, which one we enjoy. So, but until then I'm going to show you how to break down this pine pineapple and get it ready for juicing. So the first thing you want to do uh, when you break down this pineapple is to take off the top and separate the two. So this is a fun little hat for later, we'll keep. The other thing is uh, you're going to do a lot of cutting, so you're going to want to create a very flat base here. Uh, now that it can lay flat, we're just going to shave down the sides here and uh, get it ready for juicing. Now one of the things you'll notice is you have a lot of um, that brown segments on here. You're going to want to go all the way down past that. So there we have it. We have a uh, nice trimmed um, piece of pineapple. We're just going to cut it in half for the two different uh, processes. Now the other thing you want to do is make sure that you cut out the, um, the center of the uh, pineapple. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now if you're using a blender, you're going to have to cut them into smaller bits, uh, smaller pieces, so we'll do that now. And uh, the reason we're doing this is just to give the uh, blender an opportunity to succeed. And then for the juicer, You can leave it in pretty large uh, pieces. There you have it. So now we're going to load up the pineapples here into the blender. Make sure you don't drop them all over the place like I do. And uh, do yourself a favor, make sure you put the lid back on. Uh, it gets quite messy real quick if you don't. Um, and you're just going to get a rough chop on it. So uh, we're just going to go up the series until we get to liquefy. We're going to stay on liquefy for, his, uh, for a little while here. And uh, if it's not juicing, we're going to add a little bit of water just to kind of get everything going. So here we go. And there you have it. Now, now that we have that liquefied, we're actually going to uh, strain everything out through... Um, a chinois, or I have a strainer here. Um, if you're at a restaurant bar, you're probably going to have a chinois or some cheesecloth. That's what I would recommend using. Um, and the purpose of this is uh, just to separate the liquids from the solids. This is essentially what you're going to be serving your guests, so make sure that it's palatable and presentable. There we are. So we're just going to let this sit and drain for a little while and now we're going to go into the, uh, the juice machine here. So now we're just going to juice the pineapple in the uh, juice extractor here. And uh, it's really complicated. I'll show you how everything's done here. Don't worry, you're in safe hands. So we're just going to load this thing up. I always feel like uh, 
the dock in uh, Back to the Future putting beer cans and banana peels in this thing. And you're just going to hit this button. And there you have it. Pineapple juice. Here we have the two different juices. The one on your left is going to be the blender. The one on your right is going to be the juice extractor. I mean, there's a clear difference between the two already. The one from the blender is obviously a lot more volume. And um, some of the things you might not be able to see at home is that there's a lot more solid material in this glass than the other. I've strained this out just about a minute or two ago, and it's already reduced in volume um, substantially. So one of the other things is that when tasting it, the one from the, the blender, a lot more foamy, it's a lot more aerated than the one from the juice extractor. This one just tastes richer and juicier, and it just tastes like juice. So for the amount of effort and the final product, the juice extractor is definitely, for me, is the way to go. Now that we have our uh, pineapples juiced and our cocktail made, I'm going to go ahead and drink this delicious beverage and wish you guys a great shift, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.